Alright, let's see what I want to do next. You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. Here on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Okay, so I went back to this first Fisk hideout and I tried it again because you can actually do them again and again and again as many times as you wish and I managed to get all of the bonus objectives. So uh, yeah, I think let's clean up the rest of Fisk's gang seeing as a new gang's making their way into the city might as well clean up the old one just give myself a little bit less work to do in the future. So yeah, I'll show you one more of these because I reckon they're all going to be the same. Or, you know, near enough the same. Basically just combat challenges. So yeah, I'll do another one of them and then the rest I'll do in my own time. Then we'll uh, say that another day has passed, just constantly fighting against gangs. Then I'll check out what MJ wants, and help her. Oh! Yuri, this construction site's about as legit as the watches they sell in Times Square. Oh I don't boy! Have evidence for a warrant. You go in, you're on your own. What else is new? <sighs> okay, that didn't work out as I wanted it to. I thought it was going to be like, uh, well, the other one that I did, where. Boy, getting so nervous seeing that red laser on me. I'm thinking I'm about to be shot at any moment. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to load into a little mini cutscene or something, but no, I, I just landed and there's enemies everywhere and I probably should have uh, spent a moment clearing all these snipers out, but I didn't. I most certainly didn't. So I just made things more difficult for myself and very nice. Stop hitting yourself, buddy. Okay, second wave. I'm not certain if I've dealt with all the snipers. Might have. Might have. Nope, nope, certainly haven't. Okay. Ooh. And there's rocket launcher guys now. Wonderful. Oh, and I actually just took care of the rocket launcher guy. Very nice. So I won't have to worry about him. You guys are late. Don't worry. I got plenty of face kicks left. I think that may be all of the snipers dealt with. Doing good so far. A little bit of a fumble at the beginning. So many snipers active. And I just ran in, having them all spot me immediately. But we're bringing it back. We are bringing it back. Ooh. Or, 
I'll punch you in the face. You know, one of the two. Okay, they're all coming from over there. And that hit no one. Ah, oh, damn it, I was doing amazingly. I don't think I got hit once. And then, panicked. All because that grenade that I launched back didn't hit anyone. I felt bad. Ooh. Okay, rocket launcher guys. I'll just do a couple of flips. Let's get around to these ones. Okay, multiple, many multiple rocket launcher guys. Many, many, many. Stop panicking, stop panicking. We're fine. We are fine. We're wrecking everyone sufficiently well. Reinforcements again? This is only acceptable if you're all showing up in clown cars. <laughs> wow. Even when Fisk isn't around to instruct all his guys. Still tons of them. Just in time. Uh, I should probably deal with the rocket launcher guy that's somewhere over on the right because he is just keeping on targeting me and I keep on panicking. Or maybe there's two of them. Oh, and I like that I actually pull out a pistol to deal with me when I'm close to their buddies so they don't blow them up. Woo! Done. And once again... I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great, I'll just consider this an anonymous tip. And one... Oh, look at that. Perform ten perfect dodges. Complete. Stealth takedown. Three snipers. Not complete because I just ran in straight away expecting a little cutscene to play. And instead, I landed right in the middle of the lot of them and everyone spotted me. Yeah, once again, there's like, what, ten guys strung up there? Maybe not even that. Didn't I just fight like fifty of them? <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm going to spend a day going around and cleaning up the rest of Fisk's dregs. At the very least, cleansing the city of one gang before this new one starts moving in. care of these construction sites, fighting hundreds of baddies, and I've been completing all of the uh, bonus parameters for each of them. This is the last one, and yeah, we'll have completely dismantled another huge portion of Fisk's crumbling empire. Soon, all of his nefarious deeds, all of his, uh, operations will be completely kaput. Especially if I keep doing so very well like this. Boom! Oh, look at the moves. 
just sensational. And you can have one of those. Poor oh, guys. Very nice. Oh, and that was the last guy. There we go. Every single one of these construction sites, all the baddies taken out. Everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. Okay, so that was all of them. How unless... many Fisk construction sites are there? None. He had every one of them working overtime to bring in money. Well, now he's going to have a tough time keeping his operation running. Which is bad for Fisk and good for New York. I trust you've enjoyed yourself. Willie, funny story. I was just at one of your buildings. And you'll be shocked to hear that there were shenanigans of the criminal variety. TLDR, Fisk Construction is closed. I have other sources of revenue. But you've inconvenienced me. And there will be consequences. My memory's long. My reach is longer. I should make all the guys who've sworn to kill me fight it out for the privilege. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, unless more appear on the map after completing this one. But no, that's all of them. And uh, once again, paused to see if Spidey would talk differently compared to when he's vaulting around the city. And yeah, he definitely sounds more uh, out of breath and struggling whilst he's busy with all of his incredible feats of acrobatics. Alright, so Spidey has spent a day cleaning up the remnants of Fisk's organization. Obviously, there's still probably quite a bit of his empire left to deal with, but we've made some huge strides in... Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. ...in taking it out. Any more opportunities we get to... ...crumble the remains of Fisk's empire, we shall take. Okay, so now we're just waiting for morning... ...for the sun to rise... ...and we'll head on in the feast shelter... ...and talk to Martin Lee about these mysterious masks. So he's usually in his office now. Oh, and I've got to take a look at these last time I was here. Let me just go to photo mode. This seems to be the easiest way to get a very close look at things. Yeah, I think these are all uh, people who worked on the game. Yeah. Okay, right, now let's just run on through. Uh, how's your chess match going? You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, but she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Okay, don't think I can spot anything else that might be new or any sort of dialogue I might be able to continue. Everyone else I encountered, it was just sort of random. Okay, Martin Lee. Uh, oh, the huge offices. Yeah, let's head up there. He's probably... Oh, is that him? Yes, it is. Peter. I do for you. I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? Uh, I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. 
But that mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Nice and ominous. And, uh, yeah, the whole... Oh, I think we're calling hey, MJ. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Yeah, the whole revelation oh, went about as well as I could have hoped. That uh, these people are known as demons would have been quite a bit more of impactful if we hadn't have seen the name demons show up next to uh, the subtitles back in the auction house whenever the bad guy started talking. Yeah, kind of spoilt that little bit of a surprise. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Oh, just explore the city to upgrade your gear and abilities? Well, I've been doing that quite a bit. Mostly just from uh, collecting a ton of collectibles. But, uh, yeah, okay. Whilst I've got some free time, let's take a look at one of the side missions. Why the hell not? Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Okay, so I've decided on this side mission, even though it was on the other side of the city, pretty far out of the way, pretty much exclusively because of the title for it. Spider Men. Is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. <laughs> Busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. I should swing by and see what's going on. Clearly this guy's a part-time ventriloquist. That's the only explanation for his mouth hardly syncing up to what he was saying at all. So yeah, Spider-Men. I'm hoping we come across Ezekiel or just just someone. Someone with There's the theater and the crime scene. Spider find out what happened. Powers. Okay, so I'm uh, going to be doing some investigating. Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. Alright, so we're going to have to catch up to the guy, or gal. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping us safe, Spider-Man. You're very welcome. I'll just pretend it actually was me. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. I got a little turned around. Someone's impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. Yeah, although why would they be doing good deeds at all? It does smell like there was a fire in this direction. 
And there it is. Fire damage. Looks like it got put out quickly. Lots of smoke rising out of the apartment. You came back. I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. Whoever foe Spider-Man is, he's helping people. But what he's doing is dangerous. I've got to find him. Hey, Spidey, what'd you do with that fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. My doppelganger used a fire extinguisher. Might still be around here. Well, this isn't a fire extinguisher, but it is important. Looks like the fire was caused by an electrical short, not arson. Ah, so they're not deliberately causing bad things to happen and then eating up the glory for it. I think everyone's out safe now. Nice work, Spider-Man. Oh, there's the fire extinguisher. Unknown substance found. It's a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this? 